Okay, Tanzu Editions. And we've talked about um, Tanzu Service on vSphere, a little about what it is technically, uh, like TKG Service and Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. Now, uh, Tanzu Editions is how they're the, the licensed and packaged. And so Tanzu Basic and, and, and Standard are, are focused more on our um, running of applications uh, and to some extent the managing of applications, right? Uh, more of an operational side of things. And the advanced and enterprise uh, solutions are going to be focused on including additional range of development tools um, uh, like such as Tanzu Application Catalog and Build Service and, and um, other Tanzu uh, uh, at Tanzu Application Service, et cetera. We have a number of additional um, uh, components in the Tanzu suite to really build a full set of tools for developers and automation of, of modern development. Um, so our running Kubernetes and monitoring Kubernetes is here in Tanzu Basic and Standard. And um, uh, again, the, the more development and other tools will be part of these advanced enterprise packages. So uh, we are we will be releasing more details about specifically what's included in advanced enterprise in the future that information is not uh, released yet um, and in any case it's it's a little bit outside the scope of this course we're going to be looking further at tanzu basic and tanzu standard okay so uh in, at a very high level right so uh notice here that tanzu basic it says vSphere 7 and it also says tkgm and it also says run in vSphere. <laughs> so um, the intent here is is to get the if you if you want to run Tanzu if you want to run Kubernetes on vSphere, right? You might have some sites that are running vSphere 6.7 U3. You might have uh, some sites that are running vSphere 7. And the basic license it it, it doesn't matter, right? Whether you, if you happen to, if you're running vSphere 7 and you've licensed vSphere 7 uh, with Tanzu, uh, then you get with the basic sorry with the basic level then you can that's what your license is for and likewise if you, you were trying to get it for vSphere 6.7.3 then the same license will cover you using TKGM. And I should also highlight that TKGI is licensed separately it's licensed independently and so we won't be covering TKGI uh, licensing in this course. Um, so that's uh, uh, Tanzu basic and then Tanzu standard adds a few features um, at a high level uh, um, you uh, both include basic and standard include TKGM, uh, but it's uh, it's only in basic. It's only su supported to run TKGM on vSphere, whereas in Tanzu standard, you, you're you're supported to deploy TKGM on VMware Cloud on AWS, natively on AWS and on Azure. And um, as we add additional cloud provider support, you see that here. Right? There is a um, access to Tanzu mission control. Uh, it says limited feature here. It's, it's, it's still a very robust uh, feature set here. But actually, um, make, make, if you're familiar with how Tanzu mission control was licensed in the past, there's some changes in licensing. So we will go through that in a, a, uh, a few slides here in a little more detail. Uh, and there's actually a little more to it than that, and we'll, we'll, we'll dive into this. But let's just take another look at how this works. So if we look at... Um, vSphere with Tanzu is only available on um, vSphere 7 platforms, right? And so vCloud Foundation 4 include, is for vSphere 7. And so we can have vSphere with Tanzu are available across those platforms. And likewise, you may uh, there may be the times where TKGM is a fit on a vSphere 7 platform. Uh, it's... Um, it is possible, and there are use cases where it's supported, however, we, on vSphere 7, there are strong advantages of using vSphere with Tanzu, and there's not not really any disadvantages, right? It's it's not a um, you don't save money by by choosing the license of TKGM. Right? You, know, you license them both the same way, and so it generally makes sense to to play. But if you need to uh, for for some specific reason or, or use case, uh, that is an option there. Now let's go ahead and bring in our addition here, Tanzu Basic and Tanzu Standard, so we can see here visually. Right, Tanzu Basic uh, on on vSphere 7. You've got support for vSphere with Tanzu, uh, and uh, but 6.7 we only can see TKGM. Same thing for VMC, AWS, and AWS Azure. You do need to have standard here uh, to get that support. Let's look at some other feature differences. Um, and so for IaaS support. 
Uh, notice here, every edition is a superset of lesser editions. And so Tanzu Standard includes everything in basic. And then likewise, as we get into the Advanced Enterprise Edition, Advanced will include everything in standard and basic and, and so on and so forth. Um, so with uh, a Tanzu Standard, we get everything plus the support for running on cloud environments um, from a monitoring. So in Tanzu Basic, so it includes uh, basic metrics and log reporting, and which is something like you know, out of the box Kubernetes, you need to integrate components and you need to, to there's actually quite a bit to it in terms of, of, uh, of, of do you want to be able to send logs to multiple different places? Do you want to have metrics aggregation, et cetera? And so we have um, a, a you know, pre set up uh, uh, and configuration of how it's, the system will provide uh, metric and log uh, outputs. Uh, however, in Tanzu Standard, we've added that up with basic dashboards and, and support for uh, Prometheus, Prometheus and Grafana um, dashboards there. Um, both cases, the image registries Harbor. Now, one thing I wanted to highlight about um, Harbor and also to some extent when you consider Tanzu Basic and Tanzu Standard. At the time of recording uh, on vSphere 7, so there is a container registry service Within it, it, right here in the vSphere with Tanzu. And that, so Harbor is an open source software container registry. You can um, go and install it as a virtual machine. You can go install it with a Helm chart on Kubernetes. Right? And uh, in, in uh, uh, vSphere 7, it's part of uh, one of those uh, services that we saw, the infrastructure services. And so it, it deploys in a certain way on vSphere 7. Now, as of right now, that requires an SXT um, that will change. It's, I believe that's intended to change uh, in the very, very near future. So it may change by the time you're watching this video, right? Um, but my point is, is, is uh, you may see some things that have other dependencies. They're not very common. I'll try to highlight them uh, when we show them. Uh, but certainly if you see a feature uh, that is you know, specific to NSX, something like that, right, uh, then you can you understand that uh, you may you may have NSX and Tanzu Basic, in which case, as of right now, you can use this Harbor service. Uh, you may have Tanzu Standard, but not have NSX, in which case you can't use the Harbor service. And and again, by the time you're reading this, um, you know that may have changed around Harbor, but it is important to to, to just take that into consideration uh, when you're looking at the the features. Um, load balancing. So uh, both Tanzu Basic and Standard will include basic load balancing service, but uh, in Standard we have support for Ingress, and you know that's a really critical thing. If you are going to go to uh, production deployment with Kubernetes, it doesn't matter if you're using Contour uh, necessarily, right? Unless you need a Contour specific feature. Um, but what should matter is that you have an a, a, a Ingress solution. You're absolutely you know need it. Um, Never seen a Kubernetes deployment uh, in you know at any scale without them, uh, and and you're gonna need it in a supported way, and it's ideal to have it um, in a way that's that supported and, and worked well with the the overall all solution. Right? So um, so for networking, we have essentially the same options between both. Um, the data protection. So Tanzu standard really it, it includes uh, includes a, a very robust additional level of data protection and backup. Uh, using the the uh, included um, TMC service, and so for base image, we in ton, in both cases we utilize Photon OS. Uh, however, in Tanzu standard, we do have this option of bringing your own node image. That's a requirement, and for the management cluster, it's the same. In in this case, uh, it's the same either way. If you're if you're going on vSphere 7, you can use the vSphere embedded. Anywhere else, you can use one of our provided simple wizards to, to, uh, to install your management cluster. And uh, the last uh, big thing here in Tons of Standard is the SAS control plane for global policy backup conformance and health. Right? So you get um, uh, uh, Tons of mission control, right? So you get uh, a a, 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 light, a certain license level with time to mission control, and we'll explore that in a little bit more uh, on the next section. So that is Tanzu Editions in a nutshell. Thank you.